Vern Garnier, I believe, trained you, and also that was, I think, your first major break in the business being featured in the AWA. Can you talk to me about Vern as a boss and a trainer and how you got on with him and how he found, found you, in fact? Yeah, well, you know, uh, everybody uh, thinks that. Uh, uh, now, uh, he trained me uh, not uh, actual uh, – this was way before he had a school, you know, uh, um, and he trained a lot of great guys. I mean, Mulligan, Flair, uh, Steamboat. I mean, buddy. Uh, oh, man. Uh, you name it. He, he trained, them, but he didn't actually train me. I was before. Uh, and I'll tell you how I started, uh, James, is, is uh, I was working at a health club, just a young kid. And, and, and uh, 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 you know, in my teens, I, I would I'd go in and work there and, I was a bodybuilder man at that time, and and I I, I loved it. And 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 uh, the guy that owned the the the, the uh, health club was a old time pro wrestler, and uh, but he didn't wrestle for years. And he wrestled as Samson, and he wrestled uh, under the mask for something I don't know what. And I never seen him wrestle. And, and but but he was my boss. His name was uh, um, his name was Frank Zila, and this was in in. Um, uh, Calumet City, Illinois, right out of Chicago. I was raised right there in Hammond, Indiana. It's right across the line, real close. And uh, so right on Lake Michigan, right there. And, and um, so, so um, I'm there. And, and Nikolai Bokov um, was a, a, a captain uh, on a tugboat. And he came off. He got a six-month leave. Um, he built up and he took off and he won one more run. Now, I'm not talking about the Nikolai Bokov that uh, teamed up with um, uh, the, the Iron Sheik uh, in, the, in the 70s, 80s, whatever it was, uh, um, 80s, I guess, uh, to become their the WWE, uh, WWF cha uh, tag team champ. Not that Nikolai Bokov. This was the original Nikolai Bokov. His, his name was Steve, Go Steve Gobb, and, and uh, he was from New Jersey. They and, and the Volkov brothers, Nikolai and Boris Volkov, were real hot in the 50s and 60s. I mean, on top of the world, brother. And, and you know, and, and the, uh, this other Nikolai, which we just lost, God bless him, um, you know, and, uh, and the Iron Sheik, but they, they were like hot, you know, in the uh, 70s, 80s, whatever. Okay. Uh, and so this is the original old, old timers, because I started, they broke me in 1964. And, and um, so he, um, his original partner, uh, already uh, went back. He was from Europe, and he he was gone. So he wanted another partner, and my uh, mentor was was uh, them two. Uh, actually, they got me started, and 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 he boy he looked the part. He 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 looked. He was both these guys were like Dick the Bruiser. Man, they're like five six. Honestly, five six, but they're five six this way too. <laughs> Why? You know, they're five six this way. Five, six this way, deep and wide, deep and wide. Yeah, but, uh, <laughs> you know, the whole thing is uh, that they started me. And, and, and uh, downstairs at where I work, it was called the Acres, Acres Health Club um, in Cayman City, Illinois, uh, was uh, one of our uh, uh, NWA world champions. In fact, he was a champion. Look it up, you you people. In, in 1942, he was world champion. Had the the the, the belt that Flair had, and and and, and um, Harley Race and and uh, 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 Dory Funk Jr. had the same belt, brother. And his and his name was um, uh, he was downstairs, and he was uh, massaging Bobby Manigault. Bobby Manigault. Look it up, you people, man. 1942, Bobby Manigault, and, and he was the world champion. And I would go down there and, and pick his brain. You know, I wouldn't bother. He had um, uh, his eyes. He was almost legally uh, illegal blind uh, from um, from um, uh, getting rosin, you know, because we, we, when we wrestled years ago, we wrestled in boxing rings and, and they would always put their feet in uh, this um, white stuff, you know, to, so they wouldn't lose their footing and get in the ring and shuffle around. And, and, and then when we started wrestling, we'd wrestle after them or they wouldn't clean the ring good and they'd slam us and boom and all that comes up and, 
and he thinks that that's got in his eyes and and he had a, a, a coma or whatever uh, in his eyes he was almost blind but he was making his doing massages but he was so knowledgeable he helped me a lot and um how i actually got started that's before ganya had a school and, and and i didn't even know Vern then and and until bruiser sent me there and and uh, to to just to do tv hey we all did uh, uh years ago we would get on tv and and um when we first started and then them, them heels they just eat us up man just beat us boom boom man we just wipe us wipe the uh, mat with us you know and this is how we we did we came up and if they seen something special then they they would help you and they'd get you out of there but if they didn't if they left you there and left you too long then you'd get labeled and then you know it, it was hard to get out of that and and they seen potential in me and they sent me to Vergania and I was very lucky because I, I lived around uh, Chicago area and 300 miles he sent me to um, uh, back to Detroit Michigan for the uh, original chic and and I, I wrestled for him TV TV only man at the beginning and then they, they sent me in to Vern and from Chicago there is 400 miles and I drive up and do TV and and then they'd send me another 300 this way to St. Louis for Sam Mushnick. So Bruiser took care of me. Bruiser was my mentor. Mm-hmm. And uh, because uh, the, the Volkoffs did uh, so much with me, they could. And then they sent me to Dick the Bruiser. And, and that's how I got my start. So I actually, James, got started um, uh, on the job train. See? Yeah. I, I never went to a school. There wasn't any. There, there was something... Uh, seemed like uh, one of the Bastines uh, had a school out there in, in uh, around Detroit, around the Sheik. And it seemed like um, there was a Bob Saber had something around Chicago, but it wasn't a big one uh, either, like like the other guy. Uh, but uh, there was no school. You actually had to start with the old timers, and they had to accept you. And they and they took me under their arm, Bruiser and Ganya and all everybody. And they helped me. So Ganya did train me, but not not training training. But yeah, they not all officially, yeah. Me. yeah. Yeah, yeah. She helped me. The, the, and you know, Manager, everybody, everybody helped. Me. But 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 real fast. If if the old timers didn't like you, James, they would brother. You wouldn't last five seconds. They'd break your arm. They'd break your leg. Um, you know, they broke Hogan's leg, brother, when he started, you yeah, know. Hero and, Monsanto, and, yeah, Hero Yeah, you bet. And he stayed in there and tough and, and boom, boom, boom. But if you were a wise guy, you'd be gone. But if you listen and and, and you gave respect and, and you, you wanted it, they, they see it, man. And they wouldn't smarten you up. They wouldn't tell you nothing, man. And these guys all got big cauliflower ears, big fussing nose, man, big 25 inch neck i'm telling you brother they were animals they could they kill you with their hands you know and and uh, and and you you wouldn't last five minutes brother they, they would hurt <laughs> you and you'd be running out like a scalded dog with your tail between your legs and never come back but they liked me and, and they pushed me then and they brought me up slowly and 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 all of a sudden instead of getting beat on tv sometimes uh uh, you know, they would uh, let me go uh, 10 minutes through. Sometimes they'd slip me over something. Uh, and they and then they take me, the last thing, they take me to the house shows during the week and had the old timers like Johnny Case and, you know, some of their old timers that worked right in the middle their whole life. They would uh, take and school me and they would give me uh, right in the middle or early, early matches, second, third match. And they would let me go 20 minutes with these guys and then they'd beat me. But, but see, I get the time and that's how I learned on the job training, no school, no nothing, but uh, they accepted me. And, and uh, brother, I, I just love the business and that's why I want to be uh, just to continue uh, as a goodwill ambassador, James, and, and, and just give back, man. I raised three families. On, on, on this um, the wonderful uh, life, uh, and the business and raised them. And, and uh, man, I got many children and, and, and they all love their papa, man. And, and I'm just a very happy, uh, happy man.